Chess friends, how are you? Today I will show you in another brilliant game of Alpha Zero and Magnus. Here Alpha sacrificed his knight in the opening against Magnus to make the game crazy. Let's go. Magnus opened the game with e4. We have knight f6 which is called Olikin defense. e5, knight to e5 but I would suggest you to play knight here. Don't show off too much in front of those who can defeat you in chess very badly. 200 rated player would back his knight. Okay d3. In this position Alpha performs his 4k elo in front of an chess puppy called Magnus Carlsen, knight sacrifice on f2, now he makes the game hot, after king takes knight, it's the strategy behind knight takes f2 to expose the king on king side, Alpha played d6, taking the pawn isn't good because there is e5 move which Alpha will play, sacrificing the c7 pawn, then bishop check to the king, and after queen takes position will be little better for black, so, here we have bishop e2, knight here and bishop here. Pawn takes, Alpha's idea is to push the kingside pawns, to occupy center squares and so on, Magnus responded with knight d2, e6, the plan is still available for Alpha 0, I hope he will choose it because he is my friend, bishop here by Magnus, knight e4, to target the bishop, you shouldn't take the knight with your bishop, because there is queen takes and the queen will active on there, that should be enough to pressure white, so Magnus responded with knight c4 to target it, f6, g3 by him. Bishop e7 and now knight takes bishop is coming, so bishop here, castle, alpha want to build his king side pawn structure with f5, king slides, f5, bishop backs and the knight is targeting on the pawn so bishop goes to f6 to protect it, Magnus takes the knight, e takes d4, and this center pawns and key pawn is quite good. We have f5 and e5 move to play on next turn, h4, e5, queen slides to e1, to enjoy the file and go there and he have to develop his knight, c6, knight goes to h3. Now the rook is coming to the f1 square to get active on the f file, bishop to e6, threatening to play e4, and you shouldn't take the pawn, you may say why, always listen to my words because I am stockfish and you are a child fish you will lose your knight because pawn will lose control over the knight, so Carlsen played b3 to protect it, rook here, knight backs, rook to c8, a3 and pawn here queen e2 and we have b5, rook here, and g6, look at this position. Alpha makes an unbreakable pawn, structure because he is down material and it is 22 moves of the game and Magnus still can't attack to alpha, alpha will up his king, rook queen here and so on, Magnus slides the queen, queen here, knight d5 to target the bishop, if you take the knight then he will take back it with his pawn and the pawn will be a barrier for pawn structure and the rook will get the open file, do you like that it should happen? No, then play bishop d5, Magnus backs his knight, h6, now g5 is coming and after takes takes, g4, to target both of the evils. Magnus hides the king, king here, a4, bishop back to e7, and still Magnus hasn't start attacks, because this pawn structure and pieces position is not for getting trashed into dust, I mean Magnus can't able to open the position, and make his pieces combination to paralyze the king side squares or pawns, look at this, the knights are totally doomed, being down a knight alpha is making his opponent's knight passive and useless, that's why very few people can be like alpha zero, we have queen to g2, to pressure on this pawn and threatening to play g4, after playing rook to g1, he get a chance to open the king side position, so rook to g8, rook to a2, we have g5, pawn takes b5, alpha takes the b pawn, now g5 is coming, but Magnus played rook takes pawn, ignoring the g4 threat, but if you dare to play any other move, for example in this position, if you take the pawn, then pawn takes, d4 is coming so if you try to block it by playing g4 yourself, then e4, you may think what is this. Everything is targeted by every pieces, the e4 pawn is targeted by the 5 pieces, and after pawn takes there is bishop check, the diagonal is exposed, so king back to g1, and pawn takes f4, the pawn is targeting the bishop and knight, how do you protect both of them at the same time, huh? So subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more videos, back to the position, Magnus salutes alpha 0 and played rook takes pawn, now g4 is playable, g4 by alpha, knight back to g1, pawn takes bishop, we have knight takes f3. This and this targeting the pawn on e5, so bishop here to pin the knight, 
queen f2, f4, you maybe think that the pawn can be captured by the knight, for example, if knight takes pawn happen to target the queen, then rook sacrifice by playing rook takes c2, after queen takes rook, pawn takes check, every escaping squares of the king is covered by the bishop and the queen, so after king takes, king backs to give a check, king f2, rook to g2 check, king backs, then rook takes queen. That should be enough to win the game easily with the bishop and queen, so back to the position, here we have pawn takes f4, king h7, get activating the rook on g file, and threatening to play rook sacrifice by playing rook takes c2, queen g4 to target it, king backs, then bishop takes check, knight takes, queen takes, white queen can't able to take the black queen because she is on c2 square, so here Magnus calculates of these moves and played pawn takes e5, bishop back to d8 to target the rook, rook here. Queen f5, queen slides on d2, to threatening mate in 1 on h6 with the rook, so, here alpha sacrificed, his rook, now the queen can't able to move because it's pinned, Magnus Carlsen is also a stockfish subscriber, he sacrificed his rook on h6, king to g7, he takes the rook, king takes rook, we have queen check, king backs, rook to a1, to give a check on a7, so rook g7, rook comes to e1, queen on g4, targeting the knight with the bishop and queen, and if you try to save the knight by playing, queen f2, to protect it, then queen check, king backs and bishop takes h4, lasering the queen and rook, and that's enough to win the game, rook have open file and bishop is enjoying his open diagonal, king is exposed and so on. So back to the position, Magnus blocks the diagonal by playing rook e4, alpha takes the rook, we have d3, queen cannot take it, because there is mate in 1, so we have e6, bishop captures pawn, knight cannot take the bishop, because of queen takes check, king here. Then queen g3 will be checkmate, with the rook, so Magnus resigned the game, let's see how the game will be end, I played e5 from this position, rook here, king backs, bishop backs, queen f2, bishop to c5, lasering the queen and knight, if you try to save the knight with queen to f1, then bishop takes knight, knight captured, then rook check, knight here, rook takes knight, queen takes, then I will win your queen and there will be mate in 4 moves, so, in this position, I played queen check, rook blocks, now the queen gets pinned, Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.